they talk to you? No, they, they talk through me. They met in, inside my mind. And that was it? No, that wasn't it. They left something behind, something inside of me, and it's been there ever since. All righty, so we're here at the Anchor Bay booth once again with character actor extraordinaire Julian Richings, uh, who we had the pleasure of uh, talking with last year, and we get a chance. Hi, once... Jackie. Hi, Jackie, <laughs> yes. Last year, we kind of just went up to him like, hey, you doing anything? This year, there was proper notes, and like our people contacted his people. Yeah, my people are all around here yeah. making sure you behave yourself. That's right. I will, the right I will try my best. I, I see the sharpshooters. I'm, uh, I'm prepared. Um, so yes, so uh, you're here uh, promoting Ejecta, which is one of the new films coming from Foresight Features, yep. the Collingwood Boys. That's right. Um, so yeah, they, uh, those guys have uh, really been uh, bringing out a lot of interesting horror and genre films over the past few yeah. years. Give us a little bit of this uh, information on this very dark kind of story. It's kind of a dark sci-fi horror kind of yeah. thing going on here. Kind of, we, we're trying to find the right label for it and we've come up with lo-fi sci-fi okay. is the nearest thing we can come to because it's kind of an homage to the sci-fi movies of the 80s um, uh, that the, the filmmakers and Tony Burgess the writer have a special fondness for. And um, it's kind of got a bit of conspiracy movie in there as well. The idea that there we have been visited before and right. we are on the cusp of being visited again, and there is an alien presence out there. So it's um, there's a lot of things going on in it, and um, it's, it's got the Tony Burgess lean, mean attack, and uh, it it provokes you, and and I think it surprises you with 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 a sort of a, a different take on. Uh, what you think is going to be a familiar alien movie. Right, right, right. Right, so now, uh, what was like, w making the film, was it was a, was it a physically rigorous type of film, or was it an emotionally rigorous? Well, it, it was kind of, uh, I, I guess it went the way of a lot of low-budget movies, where we shot the first section um, a couple of years ago, in, in close to Owen Sound in, in Ontario, and it was a found footage movie and we had a lot of great stuff and we realized that we could use the form of found footage to cover for the fact that we didn't have a lot of money. Right. And so we had a, a jerky camera being handheld and uh, overcoming the fact that our alien makeup wasn't the greatest alien makeup in the world. Okay. It didn't have like multi-million dollars on it so that if, if it was a bit shaky and fuzzy, it didn't matter too right, much. Right, right, of course, yeah, yeah. reveal any secrets. Yeah, yeah. So we were very inventive with that and the whole filming. But then when we came to put it together, we realized that there's not actually enough footage to um, keep the story going for 90 minutes. We needed extra sources. We needed another right. story. So, so a year later, we came back and, and reshot a second section uh, that we threaded into the movie. Tony kind of rejigged it, relooked at it, and it was. Um, and he introduced the whole notion of a conspiracy movie and an extra um, a kind of a, a black ops government department that's looking into alien presence in, oh, wow. in, in, in the world. So um, so it was very interesting. We had to reframe it and re-go re for it and still maintain the, the the feeling of the original. So it was it was, it was a great exercise, actually, and we oh, yeah? kind of refined it. And, and uh, one of those necessary evils that I think happens a lot with uh, filmmaking, but it's yeah. uh, bare bones DIY, yeah. and uh, it, it ended up being a, a, a good thing rather than a bad thing. We kind of we looked at it. Cool, that's awesome. Now, uh, another film that uh, Foresight Features recently released that uh, you're a part of, also written by Tony Burgess, yep. was uh, Septic Man. Yes. Yes, now, Septic Man, <laughs> you, uh, you, you know, the yeah. start of the film, it starts out like you're like kind of like the mysterious man with a plan. That's right. And then uh, by the end of it, due to certain circumstances, you know, dream sequences or whatnot, uh, yeah. it's very much like you're the, the guiding light of our main character, <laughs> yes. so much so you provide sustenance at one point as well. Uh, I do. Uh, <laughs> shit gets very surreal, yeah. as, uh, yeah. as the caption is. Yeah, and uh, I kind of come back, and I even walk on uh, sewage. I mean, yeah. I, I guess Christ walked on water, but my character gets to walk, walk on, on sewage. sewage. Yeah. So uh, it, it it was a lot of fun, and uh, again, very inventive and. Very confined. That was a very different uh, experience than the ejector. Ejector was very much in the open and in, in a farmhouse, yeah. um, dealing with extraterrestrials. Uh, Septic Man was very enclosed, yeah. and very sweaty and dirty. Yeah, I heard it was like one big set built in a garage, sort of. Uh, kind of well, deal. kind of in, in, in a big parking lot. Big parking uh, lot, uh, okay. But, but this um, very intense set. Um, it was we, we had a big screen over the top of this tank. 
and we all got into the tank and uh, there was no going back once you're in there you're yeah. in there until you get out for lunch or dinner or whatever yeah yeah exactly it's got a punk sensibility right yeah, it, yeah. it's horror with a punk sensibility and i think tony brings that to his writing and to the world that he creates so it's it's a lot of fun and and um, it's it's great to also recognize our traditions within the canadian film industry because uh, we tend to forget that there, there's an incredible body of work out there right, and right. Uh, a mine of influence that, that it's fun for us to kind of tap into. We all drown in a lake of eternal fire. Then we go to Jesus. Maybe we just get a little light show. That's all for now, folks.